Oh, good morning, folks. You're watching Vlogging with Kai. Uh, my name's Kai, and this is my very first unboxing video. Uh, I've just literally received in the post this morning the Galaxy S4. Um, before then, I had the Galaxy S1. I've had it for about two years. It's uh, starting to get a bit slow, and it was time for its upgrade. So that's going to go to my dad anyway once I reset it. And the S4 is the new one which has just come out. I know these bum boxing videos are pretty popular, so I thought I'd give one a go. So uh, yeah, here we go then. So this is the uh, S4. It's just arrived this morning. I bought it through the Carphone warehouse on the O2 network because they were offering me slightly more stuff. Um, with it, this uh, this this package I got basically comes with the S4. Um, I also got uh, another lot of stuff here. Um, they gave me micro SD card of how big is that? 32 gigabytes. And I believe this is a 16 gigabyte as well. So plenty of space there. That's going to keep me going for a while. Uh, the Samsung official flip cover. A little bit disappointed though, from what I can see here. This is not the one with the little um, Perspex shield on the front, uh, so you can see who's calling you without actually opening the case itself, which is a little bit disappointing. Everything looks a little bit battered and bent, actually. Uh, so it only came in like a polythene bag, you see, so it's all mashed up. Hopefully, it'll all be good. Uh, so, yeah, I've got the case as well um, a Rocketfish Galaxy S4 what's that? screen protector. Okay, may or may not use that because I know they often, that looks like an iPhone to be fair, not uh, Yeah, these sometimes like, you know, leave air marks and stuff underneath. I've never really had any problems with screen. Um, SIM card. A, a, a completely smashed up box here, which is the, I believe this was an in-car charger. Yeah, it is an in-car charger. I was supposed to get that with it. And because I was one of the first 2,000 people to order the S4 through the car phone warehouse, they've given me a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, which I think I'm going to give to my parents, being I've got an iPad. Uh, so yeah, i got quite a lot of stuff. They also, because they delayed this by a day, Carfair Warehouse sent me a text message, very good of them actually, I don't think it was their fault that it was um, delayed, it was you know down to Samsung, but they actually sent um, me a text message saying, um, as like an apology, they're going to give me a £40 um, bundle, a content bundle, so I'm not sure what that is because there's nothing in here, so um, I might have to query that with them at some point and say, what, what do you mean by that, I figured out how I get this content bundle for worth 40 quid. and I'm assuming it's like probably like a, um, what do you want to call it, like, um, you know, just like a... Uh, what am I thinking of? Like a you know, like a app store voucher or something, but for yeah, the uh, Android marketplace. So uh, yeah, let me uh, let me get a knife. Actually, we'll, we'll open the box first of all. Uh, it comes in this um, wooden looking box, but I believe that is actually cardboard. Um, do not broken. Blah blah blah. Galaxy S4. What have I got here? Uh, Make your life richer, simpler, more fun as a real life companion. Oh God, I don't need a girlfriend anymore. Uh, the new Galaxy S4 gets you closer to what matters in life, bringing your world together. Yeah, it's got a 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor, blah, 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 something about 50 megabytes a second, full HD Super AMOLED screen, which apparently is comparable to the iPhone 5, uh, I've been told, full HD, uh, recording 30 megapixel front camera, sorry, rear camera and uh, 2 megapixel front GPS, which we expect, uh, an infrared blaster so you can control your TV and um, other devices that use infrared, like like apparently air conditioning units. I thought that was quite cool, uh, and a battery which 2,600 milliamps battery, which means virtually nothing to me. I don't know what that means. Bluetooth, all the usual stuff. HD voice, whatever that is. Uh, safe, whatever that is. Android technology, well, it's an Android phone, so yeah. And blah, 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 blah. Right, let me get a knife and we can open this thing. Right, okay, so just gonna... And do that. Okay, I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way so you know you're focused on the one thing. Here it is, the S4 unboxing. Oh, it's like Indiana Jones, the cradle of life. All this bright white light comes out of the uh, thing. Anyway, there it is in its box. Pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. Um, let me get the S1 actually so you can have a size comparison. Okay, so I couldn't find my phone then. Here's the S1. Let's get this out of its box, shall we? Uh, there's a size comparison of the Galaxy S1 on top. 
yeah, there you go. You've got, you just got the Samsung logo sticking over there. Thickness wise, about the same, I'd say, actually. Yeah, not much difference there, to be fair. Hmm. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got the phone itself with all its sticky labelness all over it. We'll sort that out later on. In here, underneath, what we got? The Smart Guide. Oh, sorry, Start Guide. I can't read, which isn't smart at all. Quick Start Guide, yeah, we'll have a look at that later on, I'm sure. And we've also got nicely packed some iPhone Apple style headphones. We've got Samsung written on, which is cool. Uh, we probably won't use them now. Come on out. Uh, charger, which has obviously adaptable ends, so you can take it abroad, which is pretty cool. Uh, the actual charger itself, which looks like a micro S, micro is it micro USB? Yeah, micro USB cable and USB on the other side, which obviously plugs into top of that. Um, English adapter. Oh, uh, UK. More ear cups for those of you who have big ears, and um, a very large battery. Slightly weighty, but it's not too bad at all. To be fair, I'm sure it's not going to be a big deal when it's in the phone. Um, but yeah, we'll have that in my pocket. We'll soon find out. Cool. So that is that is the box done in its entirety. So um, what else? Should we have a look at the other stuff, shall we? Let's just have a look at the, uh, the case while we're here. Okay. Oh god, they seal everything down here. Plastic. Right, here we go. This looks very similar. Oh, no, oh, okay, right, I see. It actually replaces the whole back of the phone. Um, and you've got this piece of... It feels like cardboard, to be fair. Cardboard front. Now, that's going to survive against water and stuff, but... Yeah, here you go, a little cardboard and plastic moulded together case. Exciting. Um... Whoa, almost got the camera over. Almost not the camera over. Uh, what's this? Rocketfish, Scream Tetris, I don't even gonna bother with that. SD card, I won't open that just yet because we know what it does. There's no need to look at it and uh, I'll probably lose it if I get it out. And let's have a look at this smashed up box here. I mean, look at the state of this it was delivered in. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. It's that guy up there. South Park, isn't it? Ugh. Well, I suppose it doesn't need a lot of protection there. That's a lot of box for such a small thing, you know. Anything else in there? No. Yeah, a lot of box for a small thing, so it doesn't matter if it got smashed up, I suppose. So, yeah, um, the S2 tablet, I am not going to open this now because this is going to my parents because um, they haven't got a tablet and they could do with one right about now. And I've got the iPad, so I said they're going to have this for, uh, well, Christmas present, basically. So, um, yeah. Shall we uh, have a look at the um, phone itself then, shall we? Well, I've just been reading the start guide here and um, about batteries because I thought I'd better just check uh, about charging it. It just say before using the device for the first time or when the battery's been in use for extended periods, you must charge the battery. Now, I'm a, I don't know what that means, charge it to full without turning the device on. I remember the days when you had to do that, like put your new phone on charge for 16 hours or something or risk wrecking the battery life forever. Um, so I'll plug it into charge basically uh, and then maybe we'll have a quick look at uh, the actual device itself powered up a little bit later on. Um, I'll take the plastic off for you guys because I'm sure there'll be some of you gyrating around your bedroom right now over this um, peeling of stickiness. Um, so yeah, if you yeah, send us a video though if you uh, are gyrating around your bedroom, it'll be quite funny. Uh, you may end up on the channel though. Uh, yeah, and this is killing my back leaning over this camera and try not to knock it over. Oh look at that! Yes, they always they all love sticking these things on the screen. Don't they make it look like it's on, but it's not. You usually get like a lot of cheap Japanese rip-offs that do that as well, don't they? Um, yeah, they'll, they'll have like a crappy looking iPhone. They'll put the actual iPhone front desktop on it and then make it look like it's an actual genuine device. And go, look at that, all lit up and everything. But no, it's just a fake piece of plastic stuck on it. 
Uh, yeah, so here we have it. It's, it feels quite light actually. This itself, okay, I've got a battery put in, but that feels actually lighter than that at the moment. That's might be just because of the size comparison, I don't know, because I know it's got the largest surface area. But I suppose I better put the, um, I don't even know how you get this off. I, this is why you should read the quick start guide. What's this say? Qualcomm 4G. No idea what that is. Ugh, who cares? Open up. Eh. Oh my god, I should read the quick start guide. It'd be like a quickly how to, oh here we go, I think this is this bit here. Eh, yeah, that looks promising. Come on. Eh. This isn't a snap. Hey. So, yeah, what was that? That's a quick start book again. Uh, oh, we've got colour in here as well. That's a different one, that's a handbook. Quick start guide. La -da -da -la. Turn device on and off. To be fair, if you need help, turn the device on and off. Or knowing, yeah, what the different buttons are, then you are, the, are very, very new to the um, electronic marketplace and smartphones, or you shouldn't be let out of the house alone and unsupervised. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick this together now and uh, charge it. So, yeah, here we go then. Well, I've just got the back off now then properly, just having a quick closer look at it. I can see, obviously, it's got the uh, camera here, which actually protrudes uh, ever so slightly. Um, and you notice that, obviously, when the case is on as well. You've got this little bobbly flash bit here, which uh, is, uh, is, well, it's his flash. I've just put the uh, micro SD card in there. And I believe the SIM goes in there. I think it's a, I'm not sure if it's a standard size SIM or a micro SIM. I have to find out. A lot of random ports here, which I'm assuming are for maintenance purposes. And I've got to put the battery in here. Actually, I think I have to put the SIM card in. But anyway, one thing I did forget, though, that I've seen some people do on their things, is the sniff test. So I'm just going to give it a quick sniff test now and see what I think about that. So it's a, actually, it's a bit disappointing, the sniff test. Um, there's no smell to it, really. You know, you don't really get that new plasticky smell, um, which is nice with a lot of stuff. There's nothing here. No, I'm, I'm not really getting anything off this, so uh, it fails the sniff test. Let's try the case. Nothing much there either, but ever so slight, maybe cardboardy um, smell to it. The box. No, failed sniff test. Not good, not good at all. Look at the, I've just destroyed everything here. Just demolished my table here and just filled it with crap. Um, yeah, that's not good.